often I get a call from farmers like hello I want to buy tilapia finger limbs I'm a businessman so I ask what quantity do you need all the time they call a particular amount and then I ask them what kind of pond do you have of course they respond again and I ask what's the size or the dimension of your pond that's where the post usually comes in or I get it I don't know and I ask so how are you sure you can stock the number of fish you want to grow you want to buy there and you hear oh it can take it it's big enough this is already the beginning of failure in the proposed venture by the farmer so today we'll be looking at the recommended stocking density in the three different culture systems I talked about last time now depending on your target weight per fish and by that I mean the size of fish you want to grow for sale there's a basic number of fish you can stock to grow to table size in each culture system to achieve your target I say basic because certain conditions like the rate of water flow or water exchange may differ for each farmer I'll provide a quick basic guide on how to do this and in this tutorial video, we'll be assuming a target weight of 500 grams per fish. That's to say we want to grow 500 gram size tilapia fish. We begin with pond culture or etting pond. My favorite culture system for tilapia fish. And in due course, you know why. In pond culture, it is advised to stock a maximum of 5 fish per square meter if your target weight is around 500 grams per fish now in Nigeria when it comes to taking measurements we are more accustomed to feet than meter and I've noticed this usually causes some confusion for farmers so how about we do a little math here okay math 101 <laughs> so let's assume a pond size of 25 by 40 feet 25 feet by 40 feet I use this size because in Wari, where I'm from, this is the standard size of pond most small scale farmers have. So, 25 feet by 40 feet size pond, that is the length and the breadth or the width of the pond. Notice I did, I did not include the depth because the depth is standard, usually around 1 meter or 4 feet. So, this will not make any changes in the capacity of the pond except maybe you have a depth of 2 meters and beyond then it becomes relevant okay we need to now convert first we need to convert this to meter we need to convert this feet this measurement in feet to meter so one meter is about 3.28 feet but I like approximating to 3.3 for easy calculation so we in one meter is 3.3 feet so first we convert the length or the breadth that will imply 25 feet divided by 3.3 and we get approximately 7.6 meters and then also 40 feet by divided by 3.3 and we get approximately 12.1 meters now to get the total area or the square meter of your pond, we multiply both the length and the breadth in meters. And that will be 7.6 meters multiplied by 12.1 meters, which is approximately 92 meters. So we have 92 square meters. Remember, the recommended stocking density for your for pond culture is five fish five fish per square meter and here we have 92 square meters so the total number of fish you can grow there will be 5 multiplied by 92 5 times 92 and that gives us 460 so approximately you can stock 500 tilapia fish there giving room for mortality this however is if there's no provision for aeration if there's going to be provision for aeration 
which is needed mostly in the early hours of the day when the dissolved oxygen is low, then we can stop we can stock up to 10 fish per square meter with our average target weight of 500 grams per fish what's the actual capacity of the spawn size to get that simply multiply the number of fish you can stock there which in this case is 500 by the av your, your average target weight which we intend to grow there which in this case also is 500 grams so we have 500 multiplied by 500 grams and that gives us 250,000 grams converted that to kilograms simply by dividing by 1,000 and you get 250,000 divided by 1,000 and that gives us 250 kg 250 kilograms this is the capacity of that pond 250 kilograms for a target weight of 500 grams now depending on whatever target weight you want to grow having this information you cannot calculate the number of fish you can stock in your pond you may want to grow something bigger or lesser now you know the capacity of that pond is 250 kilograms of fish you can grow there so you do your calculation and then you determine the number of fish to stock there okay this however is if there will be no provision for aeration if there's going to be provision for aeration which is needed mostly in the early hours of the day when the dissolved oxygen is low then we can we can stock up to 10 fish per square meter and that automatically doubles the capacity of that pond next tank culture the recommended stocking density is 10 fish per square meter remember we're assuming a target size or target weight of 500 grams per fish and if with aeration stocking density can go up to 20 fish per square meter if your measurement is in feet follow the previous example and walk your way up finally cage culture now in cage culture we'll be dealing with cubic meter rather than square meter that is to say we'll be considering the depth of the cage in our calculation as well this is because the least depth for cage culture is two meters and that makes it relevant we have to bring that into our calculation for a target weight of at least 500 grams recommended basic stock density in cage culture ranges from 40 to 50 fish per square per cubic meter rather in situations where the cage is situated in a flowing water and depending on the rate of flow the stocking density can be as high as 100 fish per square per, per cubic meter and that's it folks next up we're looking at the pros and cons of the three different culture systems we've been talking about i believe tilapia fish is the next big thing in aquaculture in nigeria and africa so don't be left out this is goldfish are standing out and you know what to do Go break limits.